Hello. We're going to have a go at advanced long division today. So hopefully you've had a look at doing division with single numbers. Now we're going to have to write the two. I'm going to start off with a number I hope you already know. And that is um, 12 into 144. Now we know that 12 times 12 is 144. So the actual sums we know. What we're looking for is the method. I shouldn't have said sums there. I used to have a dad who was a, a mathematician. He used to get very hoity about that. Um, sums is just for adding up. But the sum of something is when you add it up. So let's have a little look here. We would go 12 into 1, won't go. 12 into 14 goes once. Remainder 2. 12 into 24 goes twice. No remainders. Now, bearing that one in mind, I'm going to give myself another colour. I'm going to draw a line underneath it. And then we're going to do, um, we're going to do it the long division ways. Now, mathematicians, as I think I've said before, and I'll certainly say again, are fundamentally lazy people. And that's what's great about maths. You just love it. Um, if there's an easy or a quick way of doing things, you can guarantee that a mathematician will find the way to do it. Now have a look at this. This is quite neat. 12 into 14 goes once. Now supposing you just can't work out the takeaway in your head. Now I know that you can when it's 12 and 14, but it's saying it's something like 107 and 83. You can be going, Ugh. Well, this is what they do. You could, you could, if you wanted, do 14, take away 12, equals 2. But no, 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 no. We write it out underneath here. Isn't that great? Look, that, that's it. And then that way, we don't have to write out the 14 again. It's already written for us. Give ourselves a takeaway line. 4, take away 2 is 2. Now, can you see this 2 that we put over there? There's the 2. And this time, instead of writing it next to the 4, because we'd have to move our hand all the way up there and not doing that, we just write the 4 here. See? 12 into 24 goes twice. Let's neaten up our tape. Isn't that neat? I just love it. Love it. Now, I'm going to clear the screen and let's have a look at another sum that will just make it slightly more um, tricky, slightly more sort of advanced. We're going to do 25. Now, again, the 25 times table shouldn't present too many difficulties. We know it's 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, 175, 200, and so on. It's uh, something well, one would hope to be fairly comfortable with. Um, into 8, 7, now have a look at that. We've got the 75 so that we know that it's going to go in there mm -hmm. as a whole numbers. Let's off we go. 25 into 8 won't go. Don't leave the naught there. You don't put the naught at the beginning of a number except for some very odd circumstances like dates and that sort of thing. 25 into 87. Let's see, that's 25, 50, 75. So it goes in three times. 3 times 25 is 75, and because I don't fancy doing the takeaway in my head, I'm going to write it down there, using the 87 that's already there. 7 take away 5 is 2. And once again, do you remember, we could have written up the 2 up there, but we wouldn't. Oh, I've forgotten. And the 8 take away 7 equals 1. Making mistakes is fine. That's what happens. You just... I just missed it for a moment. Now I could have written 12 up here, but it all gets very cramped. So we're just going to write the 5 down here. 25 into 125 goes 5 times. And you can stop there. Stop there if you like. Or if you're feeling really keen, and because it's rather fun, just write 125 there, take it away, and that equals 0. It's always tempting to write 0, 0, 0, but that's, that's being greedy. Doesn't that look lovely? It's very good, isn't it? I love that. Now, shall we do something just a little bit more taxing? And we're going to use a nice bright red, I think, for this one. We'll see how that feels. We're going to do 
Now, have you noticed, I'm starting right up here in the top left hand corner. If it's going to be slightly difficult some, all the workings come down over here. So what you, you don't want to start here and then run out of paper because that's a waste of time because you've got to start again. So I'm going to do 20 into, see, here's the root space for my answer, um, 9, 7, 3, 4. 20s. Let's have a quick think about the 20 times table. Is it like the 2 times table with noughts shoved on the end? So it's um, that would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So 20 into 9 won't go. 20 into 97 goes 4 times. 4 times 20 is 80. Do our take away. 7 take away 0 is 7. 9 take away 8 is 1. And that is smaller than the 20. This always, always should be smaller than this number here. If it isn't, then you know that um, instead of being 4, it could have been the, maybe the next highest number. So this, this number should always, always be smaller than this one. Again, we could have written our 17 up there, but look how messy it would get if I try and stick it in there and you can't see what's going on. And So just write the 3 down. Bring the 3 down. Now that's nice and clear, isn't it? 173. Ooh, how many times does 120... Sorry, 20 go into 173? That's going to go 8 times, because 8 times 2 is 16. So 8 times 20 is 160. We're going to write 160 underneath, put a line, good, and then 3 take away 0 is 3, 7 take away 6 is 1, and 1 take away 1 is 0. You don't need to write that down, and just, just leave it. Could have written you 13 up there, don't bother, bring the 4 down. Can you see how even... Even with my handwriting, it stays in lines. Maybe at the end I should draw you some nice sort of set, but it's just bring it straight vertically down. Whoop, down it goes. 20 into 134. Two times uh, 6 would be 120, wouldn't it? So 6 times 20 is 120. No, 2 times 6 is 12. So 6 times 20 is 120. Should I just write the 6 down and get on with it? I think that would be better, wouldn't it? 6 there. 6 times 20 is 120. Do the takeaway. 4 take away 0 is 4. 3 take away 2 is 1. Now, let's see. What are we going to do? There are no more numbers left to pull down. So I'm going to... We could just say remain to 14, but there's nothing wrong with that. That's absolutely fine. But... It's a nice day. I think we deserve a treat. Let's give ourselves some decimal points and we're just going to go decimal in celebration of the fact that we picked our first lot of blackberries today and I think that's kind of exciting. So bring down the naught. Can you see I put the decimal point in top and bottom, bottom and top immediately because otherwise it's so easy to forget and so instead of it being uh, 486 point something it could be 4,800 and that's a very different number very different so bring our naught down and I do hope we've got enough space down here that can end up slightly embarrassing if we run out and I'll have to start again but that's okay long division you have to do it a few times sometimes same with these things it all happens so 20 into 140 that's 7 that was nice wasn't it goes point 7 love it and so that would be, just for the sake of neatness, but it's utterly neat, you know, unnecessary. 140, take away 140, equals 0. Hmm. Now, if I put this sort of, like, blue, I'll just show you after I finish scratching my nose. That feels better. Can you see how that stays, roughly speaking, in a nice straight line? Now, I'm not going to pretend that British Rail is going to be buying these straight lines. But I think 
it's fairly clear for working that that's what's going on. And it's pretty necessary. If they start going all... Um, your sum will go wrong. So that's how to do advanced long division. I hope you give a go at the next one, which I think is extreme long division. Um, I'll see you then. Bye. Bye-bye.